solving problems using simultaneous equations. Now, I'm going to do one video where I go through a problem from start to finish. There will be a second video where I just set up the simultaneous equations because you've learned how to solve them. That's not the tricky bit. The tricky bit is actually setting up the equation from a word problem. So I'll do one in this one and then another video where I go through some more. So here's my problem. The sum of the ages of two children is 17 and the difference in their ages is 5. If Kara is older than Ben, determine their ages. Now what you have to do is set up two equations from the information given. But you have to be very careful in your working. This is, again, very meticulous working following a set guidelines. First step is to find your unknowns and define a variable. Because we don't have the variables, and if you're just going to say, well, one of them's x and one is y, you have to tell me which is which. You have to be very clear about what your variables are. I can almost guarantee you, and this is a dead fairy error, that one of you will say k equals Kara, b equals Ben. That's still wrong even if you say x equals Kara, y equals Ben. You must very exactly define your variable, and the variables are usually actually given to you in the question because the question says determine their ages. So that says that one variable is Kara's age, and one variable is Ben's age. So when you define your variable, you say, let. Now, you might as well keep it sensible. If you've got a name, use K equal Kara's age. Uh, you can use B here if you prefer. Let K be Kara's age. B E, the word. Uh, or you can have equal. I don't mind on that. Let B equal Ben's age. So writing that as B instead of equals, that would be fine if you wanted. I wouldn't mind that. So you have defined a variable for each of your unknowns. And you have been very clear about exactly what your unknowns are. Then you need to write two equations from the information that was given. It is a good idea to underline the information. The sum of the ages of two children is 17. So since K is Kara's age and B is Ben's age, that means Kara's age plus Ben's age equals 17. This is equation 1. The difference in their ages is 5. Now they told you Kara is older than Ben, because it matters when you do difference if I'd got a negative difference or if I put the older person first or the younger person first. Because I've got a positive difference, the older person must be first. So Kara's age minus Ben's age is 5. And that's equation 2. This is the tricky bit. You can solve these equations. You're good at that. At least I hope you are by now. So you solve, and you must present your solution in words. And that's based on exactly the question that they asked you. So let's quickly work through this one. I could use substitution if I rearranged one, or I could use elimination. I'll just do a rearranging. Um, mm, no, if you want to see one where I rearrange, let me know, but I can't be bothered. So, uh, let's cancel out the, the Ks by subtracting. If I, the, here they've got the same number at the start, they're both ones, so I could add or subtract, it wouldn't matter. I'm going to do 1 minus 2, K minus K cancels out. 
b minus negative b is b plus b. This is 2b. 17 minus 5 is 12. So b equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. So I know Ben's age. Substitute b equals 6 into, it doesn't really matter which, let's use equation 2. Write the equation k minus 6, that's a 6, that's a b, is 5, so k equals 11. And now you have your solution. But when you present your solution, your question was determine their ages. Don't say one is seven, what's it, what are they, they're six and 11. Don't say one is six, one is 11. You have to be very clear. Kara is this age, Ben is this age. And since it said, what are their ages? You must say very clearly that answer. Therefore, Kara is 11 and Ben is six. I almost got the wrong answer. Um, if you were being really explicit, you'd probably say 11 years old and six years old. So a word answer based on the question. I know in age we don't we don't we normally assume it's years, but if we were being really careful, 11 years old and six years old. So very very careful solution. Here is where you are likely to fall down in defining the variables exactly and writing your equations. And in the next video, I'll just practice defining variables, writing equations.